I just want to do a little quick video on how to mix your solution up for your hydroponics. Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, to mix your uh, ingredients on top of each other, or like your master blend, calcium nitrate, and then Epsom salt, and then mix it in a big bucket. Um, that's really not the right way to do it. Um, when you do that, I don't know if you can see down here, there's a little white. It didn't matter how much I stir this, there's going to be nutrient lockout. I mean, there's going to be calcium nitrate that doesn't dissolve because because of the way this is. You can't mix your nutrients on top top of that because you're going to get um, nutrient lock. The way to do it, um, I mean I have a 27 gallon tank. I mix three five gallon buckets of uh, nutrient solution and even when I pour this nutrient solution I've not stirred this yet and you cannot see any nutrients in the bottom of my bucket. I mean they're just not there. Um, once you pour them in there they dissolve in the water and you're ready to go. You may see some brown flakes which is iron or something like that in this is a this is master blend. You may see some brown flakes in there which is the metal but like calcium nitrate here I mean it's perfectly clear all the way to the bottom and I haven't even mixed it. So this is the way to do it and this is your Epsom salt you can tell it's clear at the bottom nothing in here so what I do is like when I change my water I go ahead and fill these five gallon buckets up and I go ahead and put my solution in here and then when I change my water in three or four or five days it's all ready to go it's dechlorinated and everything but I mean mixing it on top of each other is not the way to go I might use that um, like every other day just to just to keep up my PPH or my parts per mil uh, PPM I'm sorry my parts per million but to fill my tanks that is not the way to go you need to mix them separately and then add them to your tank master blend first calcium nitrate Epsom salt mix them in there like that let it aerate uh, and mix in stir it around a little bit and then send them to your plants uh, also I'm not using a 12 12 6 I'm using well I was using a 12 12 6 because that's what was recommended I'm not getting the growth out of it that I, I like so I'm using a 14 14 7 um, and sometimes in the meantime I'll use uh, miracle grow I'll put uh, this is the African violet and it's a 777 but it has your copper boron iron magnesium and zinc it has all your trace minerals in it so I might add uh, two or three capfuls every other day. Uh, it just depends on what my parts per million come out to. I mean, the tomatoes eat a lot of of your minerals, so maybe every other day I'll add a couple of capfuls just to get my parts per million back up, and that seems to be working the best for me. Um, I've started this maybe two days ago, but we had uh, a bunch of thunderstorms the last couple of days and of course I don't have a greenhouse I mean I'm doing it outside so uh, I'm sure my parts per million is way off right now uh, once I do this uh, the next week or so it's supposed to be pretty nice hopefully I'll get some of that that uh, that growth that I'm wanting I mean I'm getting my stems really thick but my upward growth is not that much so I'm gonna up my solution um, I'm gonna push them but I think uh, I think this is the this is the best way. So 
I just wanted to let you guys know though, I mean, you have to add your nutrients and mix them separately or you're going to get a nutrient lockout like that bucket there. Um, it's not a good way to go if you mix everything on top of each other. Your water might be good and you might get it, um, might get it what you thought is mixed together, but you're going to have calcium nitrate lockout. So if you look at these buckets, I mean, there's nothing in the bottom. And that's uh, 15 gallons of mix, 15 gallons of mix, and 15 gallons of mix. So once you add them all together, uh, you're not going to get lockout if you add them master blend, calcium nitrate, Epsom salt. That's the way to go. Uh, just comment in, in below and uh, let me know what you think.